Thanks for joining A2X's partner program. My name is Natalie Flex. I'm a specialist here at A2X and I'm here to help you learn more about our app. Now by the end of this video, I hope you'll have a better understanding of what A2X is all about and that you'll feel confident recommending A2X to your e-commerce clients. So how does A2X work? A2X is an app that sits in between your client's e-commerce sales channels and their accounting system. When you connect A2X to an e-commerce store, it begins to fetch the data into the app from each sales platform. It'll break down the transaction types that make up each deposit and then organizes the sales and fees based on when they occurred. Then A2X will crunch the numbers and generate a summary entry that's ready to post to the accounting software. This is an example of an A2X account that's already connected to an Amazon UK store. In A2X, you can view your latest settlements from the e-commerce stores, you can review the summary entries, or you can post the data straight to the accounting software all from your home page. When you use A2X, you'll post journals or invoices that match with the corresponding payouts. This settlement accounting method allows you to reconcile the transactions in just a few seconds. If your client's using Xero, this is how easy it'll be to reconcile your e-commerce payouts. In this checking account on the left, you can see a few of the deposits that the client's received and Xero is already matching these bank payouts with A2X's summarized invoices. So all you need to do is click in the middle to reconcile. And it's that simple. There are times when you won't see the green match in the bank feed right away. So I'll show you a quick example of how to reconcile those types of payouts. When a payout that your client received has transactions that crosses over two or more months, A2X will split the transaction details for you and it'll generate multiple invoices. Just use Xero's Find Match feature to match your multiple invoices with your one payout. So here's an example where there was a payout from Amazon, but A2X split this entry into two invoices. One invoice is dated in January and the second is dated in February. We split the entry for you to make sure that the sales and fees and all the different transactions are accurately recorded in the accounting software. Now at the invoice level, you can see that there are a lot of detailed transaction descriptions. Uh, this is an Amazon payout that A2X has summarized. There's lots of line items and you can see the different types of sales and fees. They're all separated out like reimbursements, commissions, FBA fees, shipping income, revenue, sales tax, and so on. When you're initially setting up your A2X account, you'll do all the mapping in our app and you'll have the option to choose a customized mapping option where you can really fine tune your mapping. This allows you to make sure that the transactions are recorded correctly based on your preferred settings. Now here at the bottom of each invoice, uh, you'll see on the right hand side, the total of the invoice balance matches with your payouts. And based on your region, the breakdown of your revenue and bad amounts would be summarized here as well. On the left of each invoice, A2X will attach the raw data file for you so you can see that here. The attachment has the details of every order number, the individual line items, your timestamps, and all the transactions that are included in this payout. If you view the raw data file, it might look something like this. This is an example of the file which has every order number and the transaction details per order. So instead of posting every order separately into your accounting software, what A2X does is it'll summarize all these transactions and create one tidy entry so it's easy for you to reconcile. If your client's using QuickBooks Online, the only difference is that the payouts are posted as a journal entry instead of an invoice. The matching function and all the accrual entries work just the same way. Uh, the raw data files are also attached to your journals in QuickBooks. So here's an example of a journal entry for a payout from Walmart Marketplace. In this example, we've added classes to the entry, which is a setting that you can enable in A2X. By adding classes in A2X, you can run a profit and loss report by class for your client if you'd like to. Uh, this example here is split by marketplace. So if you have a seller selling in different marketplaces like Amazon Europe, US, eBay, Shopify, maybe Walmart, it's really easy to create a customer report like this for your client. If you're a zero user, then you can add tracking categories in A2X instead. Now that you have a better understanding of how A2X works and how easy it will be to reconcile, next I'll cover the A2X side of the integration and show you how to set up your first A2X account. Now there are a lot of advanced features available in A2X, but for this demo, I'll cover the basic setup options just to get started. Depending on the complexity of your client's needs or VAT schemes, you may need to enable a few settings in your account before completing your setup, but as a partner, your support calls are free, so please feel free to book onboarding sessions or reach out to us for assistance. 
Now to get started with A2X, go to our website and click the orange button, Try A2X for free. And just follow the steps to create your account and you'll see a page that looks like this. Now as a partner, your A2X accounts will be in trial mode, so there is no charge to you or your firm and you're welcome to invite unlimited users to have access to the accounts. Also, your free trial period never ends, so you can take your time and test the A2X app and just make sure that it's a good fit for you and your clients before you subscribe each account to a paid subscription. The limitation when you're in trial mode is the number of entries that you can post to your client's accounting software that's limited to about three entries. Now when you create your login, you can access all of your client's accounts from one A2X login. It works very similar to QuickBooks or Zero Partner accounts. Here in the upper right corner, you'll see a green bubble. This is the email address that you use to create your A2X profile. And the blue bar next to it is the name of the account that you're currently viewing. So by default, you'll start off with one A2X account that can already be connected to an e-commerce store. And then you can add on as many additional accounts as you need, and you can access them all from your one login. When you click on this blue drop down bar, you'll see the option to add additional A2X accounts. If you're a partner, the teams and overview features will become available as you start onboarding and setting up multiple clients. As you're adding on additional accounts, just make sure you give each one a name so it's easy for you to find. You'll begin to see your accounts in this blue drop down list and you can easily access your different accounts from here. So let's make sure you name your first A2X account. This should be your client's business name or store name, anything that helps you identify which account you're currently viewing. And once you give it a name, then you can begin the onboarding steps. So within each of your A2X accounts, just follow these three simple steps to complete your setup. The first one is to connect A2X to your client's e-commerce store. Next, connect A2X to your client's accounting software. And then the last step is to complete your mapping. After these three steps, you'll be able to review a summarized entry in A2X, and then from there, if you want to post it to your accounting software, you can. Now, the mapping is where some of our users might get stuck. We'll have other videos to explain the mapping options in more detail and some advanced settings you can turn on, uh, but when you're getting started with A2X, you have two main options to choose from. The first option is to have A2X set your mapping for you. We'll create a list of suggested chart of accounts. This is the easiest and fastest way to complete this step, and you can just click on the green button here, and we'll create those accounts for you. You can always come back and change your mapping and refine it after that point, uh, but that's one option. The second option is to click on customization and go ahead and pick and fine tune your own mapping from the very beginning. Uh, you can click here where it says customize your settings or click on the accounts and taxes at the top. If you choose to have A2X set your mapping for you, this is an example of the list of accounts that we would create. Now the accounts list varies based on the e-commerce store, um, but you'll have the option to quickly review the list of accounts that our app would create into QuickBooks or Xero uh, before you save your mapping. Now if you want to customize your mapping, or let's say you want to come back and fine tune some of your mapping set previously, click on the accounts and taxes page at the top of your A2X account. And this is where you'll see the list of transaction categories on the left, and then you can choose the chart of account you want to set for your mapping page. Now, once you've set your initial mapping, the next step is to review one of your payouts and just verify how the transaction details were mapped. You'll begin to see the transactions that A2X has fetched in from your e-commerce stores. And you can see here that the taxes and account buttons are blue, indicating that each of the transaction lines have an account and tax code already mapped. The sent buttons in your account will be red and they will turn blue after you've posted an entry to the accounting software. Now over to the right in these orange columns, you'll see a review icon for each payout summary. Click on the review icon to preview your entry and then you can take a look at the mapping before you post it over to your accounting software. I'll click on the review icon for this top payout for 26,000. There are two different sections on this page, but I'll start with showing you the top portion here where it says sales and fees. Start by clicking on this little drop down arrow. Now here is where you can see the line item descriptions and the chart of accounts that were mapped based on your settings from earlier. If everything looks good from here, then go ahead and try posting this entry to your accounting software. Or you can go back to your home page and click on the orange send buttons um, in the right hand side here. It is possible to post an entry more than one time to your accounting software. So to avoid duplicate entries, just be careful not to double click on this link 
or click on it multiple times. Um, keep an eye out for any error messages in the upper right corner. Otherwise, that sent button will turn blue in our app, and then you can go ahead and check for the entry in your accounting software next. Now this is how your account should look when you're using A2X in Zero. To reconcile, just click on that OK button in the middle or use that Find and Match feature if there are multiple invoices to match with your one payout. And that's all you'll need to do. If you need to make any changes to your mapping, then please delete the invoice or journal entry first. Then go back to A2X's Accounts and Taxes page, make any changes you need to make in your mapping, and then go ahead and post the updated summary entry from A2X into your accounting software. If you've already started setting up your A2X account, then you'll notice that the account is currently in trial mode. You will be able to preview all the different settings and features that's available in A2X, but you're limited to the number of entries that you can post from A2X to the accounting software. The, this account here has three entries that are orange, so these are the three that you can post to QuickBooks and the rest are grayed out. These three entries will be enough data to see how A2X works for each of your clients and just make sure that you're happy with your settings and your mapping before you go ahead and upgrade to a paid subscription plan. So the next step for you would be to click on the orange choose plan button at the top of your page and pick the subscription plan that fits your client's sales volume. Once the subscription is active, then you'll have access to about two months of historical data in our app and the app will continue to fetch in any newer or missing payouts. Give it about 24 hours to complete a history fetch or reach out to the support team if you need to bring in a lot of historical data. And then in the meantime, if you have other clients to onboard to A2X, you can go ahead and add an extra A2X account to your profile and then go through the three onboarding steps for your next client. If you're not familiar with the pricing options, you can check the pricing page from our website to pick the subscription plan that fits your e-commerce client's needs. So start by going to a2xaccounting.com and click on Accountants, then Pricing. So here's an example of the pricing options for a Shopify integration. Your subscription plans begin at 19 USD a month, and the main difference between each of these subscriptions is the average monthly order volume. This mini plan here is the right fit for sellers with 200 orders or less per month, uh, but it does not include the cost of goods sold feature that we have available. Um, you can see the different monthly order volumes for each of these plans that are covered here. And then click on this blue tab to the right if you need to see larger plan options. Now, as a partner, you can qualify for volume discounts, so reach out to us when you have five or more clients using A2X, or schedule a call if you're interested in learning more about the volume discounts and other partner benefits that are available for you. So the next step for you would be to onboard your first client by connecting your A2X account to your client's e-commerce store and then connecting to the accounting software and completing the mapping page. Now, if you have additional accounts to add to your login, remember to use that blue drop-down bar in the upper right corner and name each account to keep this list nice and organized. We have a lot of settings and features available that were not covered in this video. As an A2X partner, your trainings are free, so please don't hesitate to schedule a session with us or reach out to the support team if you have any questions along the way. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how A2X works, and we look forward to helping you and your e-commerce clients.